Hello again everyone and welcome back to uh, Kovac Enterprises where we are working with the uh, Starskin Hutch for Torino build. Um, first and foremost I just want to wish everyone a happy and prosperous uh, new year for 2017. And uh, with that being said, uh, let's get started with what we have accomplished so far. Um, <clears throat> as you can see in front of you, uh, if you notice we did go ahead and attach uh, the radiator to the front end of the chassis as you can see here and uh, once that was done we went ahead and attached the uh, rims and the wheels uh, together and then uh, uh, attached the metal pins to the uh, chassis itself uh, even though the instructions uh, asked for you not to glue the uh, metal pins uh, I just chose to go ahead and do that because I'm just going to be using this car as the display purposes and not using it as a toy uh, with the moving wheels. Um, what I did do with the uh, chrome rims was I went ahead and sprayed some of the testers spray lacquer uh, just to dull it down a little bit and uh, once that was dry I went ahead and went back and uh, applied some future just to bring the uh, sheen back a little bit so I am pleased with the way the rims look like on the wheels at this point um, <clears throat> next up uh, we went ahead and uh, completed our um, interior bucket so uh, that is ready to go uh, I did post some of these pictures on some of the uh, Facebook uh, pages uh, uh, but uh, this is done so uh, when it comes time to go ahead and uh, put this uh, together in the body we will we will do that but uh, there you go okay <clears throat> and uh, the next up of course is the main body of the uh, Fort Torino itself um, here it is and uh, what I chose to do basically is uh, instead of using a basic kind of gray primer um, I also also do this for my airplanes as well but uh, uh, I use the uh, full cart metallic silver sterling uh, as the undercoat for the car and then once that was done I went ahead and airbrushed on um, several layers of the uh, basic red Craftsmart satin acrylic paint. Uh, so this is what you're looking at presently. Uh, next step that I uh, chose was to go ahead and install the windows. Um, as you can see here we have the front windshield. We went ahead and applied the uh, quarter panels right here and uh, turn this around and we did go ahead and install the rear window and what I used to actually put that together I know a lot of people use the like white canopy glue uh, but I went ahead and chose this product again uh, this is the uh, glue and glaze it's made by deluxe materials and it's make uh, it's for making crystal clear windows and bonding canopies and most plastics uh, one reason I do like this one is uh, pull this thing off here is uh, this does have a fine tip to it and uh, it's uh, it flows out easy uh, to the target area that you want to place it and uh, then I, like I said once again uh, when I did install the windows I just tape it up with some painters tape and uh, let it sit overnight and then uh, peel the tape off and it's good to go so that is that um, once that was done I went ahead and uh, took care of most of the trim work chrome trim work around the uh, <clears throat> windows and uh, parts of the body of the car as you can see here and uh, for like around the uh, wheel wells and stuff I did go ahead and use a toothpick and cut it at a 45 degree angle and uh, just carefully uh, dabbed it in and, and just kind of drew a line around to try to keep it as clean as possible. There's a couple of touch-ups, but we can take care of that a little bit later. Um, the other thing that I did was to basically uh, 
do the windshield uh, wipers. Once the hood gets put on there, you can't really see it, but I just chose the color of the uh, Craft Smarts black satin and once again dipped it with my toothpick and just uh, filed along the detail lines of the windshield wipers. Um, <clears throat> we can go ahead and take it off this makeshift display here and we can go on the underside here and as you can see we uh, if I get my fingers out of the way um, we just we did go ahead and paint the underside of the under the the roof uh, with some of the black satin um, and uh, the basically I used the white Craftsmark gloss to uh, indicate that there is an interior light uh, there as well um, I also went ahead and uh, applied the rear view mirror as you can see here using some of the uh, white canopy glue and let that sit overnight so that is done and we'll go ahead and put that back on our little makeshift display here there you go so with that being said uh, oh there's one other thing here um, as far as the instructions while I'm thinking about it um, these two little parts here uh, as far as the way the instructions are reading uh, they're displayed correctly but the uh, the numbers are off uh, this 65 represents this side and 66 represents this side and it can only basically go in and get glued one way so they just need to reverse the numbers around so no biggie but just want to kind of point that out for you <clears throat> and uh, let's see, I don't know if I showed you this before or not but <clears throat> we do have the uh, the hood all taken care of and sprayed out I did the top part as well as the underside part <clears throat> I may give this I kind of like a dirty wash later haven't decided yet but the hood is done so there you go and uh, <clears throat> basically with that being said uh, try to keep this video short for you uh, this is about where we're at right now at this stage and uh, until next time um, we will come up with the uh, our next uh, episode in this build so uh, once again everybody have a good day and we will catch you uh, uh, on the next video. So long.